So if you are a Nigerian citizen that happens to become an Italian citizen, then you should know that the day you are collecting your Italian citizenship, this one question will be asked and you have either said yes to it or no to it. I don't know, maybe some people said yes without knowing what they are Hello saying. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video guys. Thank you so much guys. One, I want to thank everyone for the love and support over this channel. I thank you so much. May God bless every one of you. So let me just say that today's video is meant for those that are based in Italy. But even though you are not based in Italy, I still thank you for clicking to watch today's video. You are definitely going to learn one or two things from this video, okay? For those of you that are based in Italy, there is something I want to tell you, okay? Especially with Nigerians, okay? Because, you know, so Nigerians in Italy, this video is actually for you. And what I want to say is that before you think of suing someone in this country, as in before you think of taking someone to court in Italy, make sure that you that is taking the person to court, make sure that you know the law of the country. Make sure you are right before taking someone to court. Otherwise, everything is going to turn against you and you will be the one to pay for the damages after the court might have judged and uh, sentenced the case, okay? So it happens that a sister took hospital to court. She sued the hospital because they donated her husband's organ at the point of his death. According to her, she didn't know anything about the husband donating his organs at the point of his death. So I don't know who advised her, but she decided to sue the hospital. So they went to court. This thing lasted for more than a year in court. Saying that she didn't know anything about it. The husband never told her anything when he was alive. By the way, the man got sick all of a sudden. So he was rushed to the hospital. And after some days, he gave up the ghost. So they had to donate his organs. So when she find out, she decided to sue them for doing this to her husband. Uh, I don't know. Only God knows if she knew, if the husband told her. But at the same time, I know that many Nigerian husbands, they don't discuss many things with their wives at home. So why I'm making this video today is that she sued them. After one year and some months of going to court here and there, so after all verifications, it turned out that this man actually gave his consent for them to donate his organs when he is no more, okay? So at the end of the day, you can see that the woman lost the case. So and when she lost this case, uh, she was asked to pay 4,800 euro, I mean, for the lawyer that was there for her throughout this a year and some months. Because uh, at the point of this case, she said that she was not having money for lawyer, so they have to give her lawyer, okay? You know, had it been she won this case, she was not to, she was not going to pay anything. And she was also going to get hundred and some thousand that she was demanding for. By the way, when I heard the amount she was requesting for, I think 150,000 euro, I was kind of ashamed and uh, embarrassed because... 150,000 euro, even though the husband never gave his consent, 150,000 euro cannot bring back your husband alive. He cannot bring back the organs that were donated, okay? So my main reason for making this video today is, is for you to know the law of the country that you reside in, especially here in Italy. Italy is one of those countries that respect law. Eh? They respect their law. And they expect you, the foreigner that comes to this country, to respect their law equally. So, like I was saying, um, this sister did not do her verification very well. Because one thing they ask you in this country, once you become a citizen is, especially the day you are going to be collecting your digital ID card at the commune, the first thing they will ask you is if you want to donate your organs at the point of death. So, it's up to you. To answer yes or no but many of our nigerians don't know this sometimes they will give you this paper to fill and there is a place they will ask you in that paper if you want to if you would like to donate your organs at the point of death so if you understand what is written there you either choose yes or no so when they went through their computer it happens that this man actually signed yes so you can see that he gave his consent without the knowledge of his wife. 
That is why I said that many of our Nigerian husbands hardly tell their wives so many things important like this ones. I personally, I remember when I went to Common last year to collect my digital ID card. You all know that if you are here in Italy, if you are not a citizen, yes, you will be going around with the paper on, okay, the, pa the paper ID card. But once you become a citizen, you are going to give it the other one, the plastic one. So when I went for it, uh, they asked me this particular question. Do you want to donate your organs at the point of death? I said no. I clearly said no. This has nothing to do with being selfish. I decided that I want to go back to Baba God, complete the way I came. Okay, but it, it has nothing to do with being selfish. You can choose to donate, you can choose not to donate. So my answer that day was no. They did not give me any paper to sign because they see that I could speak Italian very well. So the person was asking me and um, the person asked me and then I just answered, telling them that I don't want to donate organs. Okay. I actually went with, I actually went with my children. My children are still minor. So they are, so they cannot answer that question now. Maybe when they turn adults tomorrow, they will be called to answer the same question okay but for me i choose not to donate it because i just don't feel like okay like i said i want to go complete the way i came yeah but i'm not saying it's not good to donate organ it's very very good as a matter of fact two years ago or three years ago when i was admitted at the hospital someone actually donated blood for me even though i find it so difficult collecting those bags of blood okay I just find it so difficult but when i saw that my life was really at risk i had no choice than to accept it i really battled with collecting someone else's blood okay but this is just a story for another day okay uh, yeah it's very very good to donate organ if you feel like if you don't feel like nobody is going to force you to do that that is the reason why they ask you they must ask you this country and their law they don't joke with it so they must have evidence that you have accepted to donate your organs so on this woman's case the husband accepted to donate it without her knowledge okay i think the man did not tell her when he got home that day so when he died they donated it and this is the woman going from one court to another suing the people at the hospital but at the end of the day she lost the case because the man who gave his consent to donate his organ at the point of his death so my nigerian people why i'm saying this is that on the day you are going to come on to collect your kata identity the plastic one this is once you become italian they are going to ask you this question if you don't understand what they are asking you please take someone along someone that understands this italian language so that they will interpret for you or if or maybe if they give you paper to fill and there are some places that you don't understand instead of you just marking yes 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 without understanding i will advise you to go with someone that can read and write italian language that is the best thing for you to do instead of you um marking yes today then tomorrow you say you did not understand the italian language very well and this is why I will keep on emphasizing on you learning this Italian language, okay? Once you are here in Italy, you have to learn this language. Some people are so stubborn, they will be telling you, why can't Italians themselves speak English? And that is when I remind them that, my dear, Italians are not the one in your country. You came here to them. And all of us knew from the beginning that this country is not an English speaking country. I don't know how many times I'm going to be repeating this on this channel. Now she's going to pay 4,800 hmm, for the lawyer. Okay. She was actually supposed to pay for defamation again about the hospital, but they waived that away. They just waived that. So the 4,800 euro now is what she's struggling to pay because they, they actually gave her a deadline. They gave her a deadline to pay this money, which is four months. Hmm? Four months, 120 days. 120 days is just like 20 days from today. So before you take any action, maybe someone is advising you to sue someone just, just so you can make money out of it. Make sure that you know what you are doing. 
before you are suing someone have evidence evidence is very very important when it comes to going to court here in italy you can't just sue someone just because other people are pushing you to sue someone for you to get some money out of it please and this is very very important if you must become an italian citizen this is one thing you must know because this is something they ask you that day before you collect your I mean, the day you go to put in for this cata identity, the plastic cata identity, this is one of those questions they are going to ask you. So you can't tell me that you don't know how it functions here. Don't sign anything you don't understand and don't say yes to anything that you don't understand. Please do yourself a favor by learning this language. It will be of great help to you and your family. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao. Ciao.